So if you're looking for abundant health, you have to feed the body what it needs to have abundant health, okay, which is the bloodstream. And the bloodstream is what you need to fill the nutrients with the correct amounts in order to build a good, strong immune system, uh, fight off any type of disease, detox automatically, as well as feed for bone strength and muscle strength. So uh, what I like to do is I like to use... Again, plain Greek non-fat yogurt, spinach, this is, this is going to be a big detox, banana, uh, real fresh beet, mushroom, kale, strawberries, and again, I have other ingredients, but this is the one I'm doing today, and what, what this will make is two servings, okay? So what we're trying to do is understand that the body, every 30 to 45 days, you have brand new blood, and what you built that blood off is, of is what you consumed. So what you wanted to do is consume types of uh, antioxidants, uh, fights off carcinogens, so that you have healthy blood and you're not building an inferior bloodstream, which then builds your hair, your nails, your eyes, your bones, your teeth, your you name it, brain cells. And so what I'll do is I'll put all this in my Super Ninja Blender, and the way I do it today will give us two servings, okay? So if you want two servings of this a day, this is great. If not, you just cut things in half, all right? So check this out. So the first ingredient you want to use is kale, okay? About uh, two cups worth, okay? It's great for lowering cholesterol. Uh, we know it fights, uh, it fights cancers, uh, bladder, breast, colon, ovary, prostate, you name it, it fights it, okay? So that's just some of the simple little reasons why, and it's because it has uh, vitamin K, A, C, I know there's copper and B6 and fiber, calcium. Oh, heck, there's potassium, I know there's E and B2 and just uh, phosphorus, you name it, it's in there. So, so kale's the heart of this besides detoxing the body, okay? So that's our first ingredient, about two cups washed. Uh, so the next ingredient here is a raw beet, okay? So I'm going to end up top, taking that top off and I'm going to peel it and put it in there raw. Uh, there's folate, uh, manganese, potassium, copper for sure, fiber, phosphorus, I don't know, there's vitamin C and iron and so on and so forth. But but I, what's really important to know is that uh, they're, they're, beets are like a really, really good source of uh, phytonutrients in there, okay? And they help the... Uh, they help the blood sugar. Uh, what else? They showed it to to fight cancer. In actuality, and in, in humor and uh, humans, I know that they actually shrunk the cells in there. So uh, again, help studies show on that from colon, stomach, lung, breast, prostate, testicular, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so beets are really good. I get them raw. And then I take and I peel it and I put it in the blender. Okay, so the video is going to be, it was kind of getting long, so I threw everything in there. I also put a, a mushroom or two in there because we know mushrooms are really, really good antioxidants. And uh, in fact, the oldest, oldest body ever found intact uh, from thousands of years ago is the guy, they found him, he was uh, uh, frozen, he died and was frozen. He actually had mushrooms and, and a necklace around him. Um, and that's what they would eat. Um, this is, I think the body was like, I don't know how many thousands of years old, um, way back to mammoth times. Anyway, and then I put my protein powder in there because you can have all these all these great um, uh, vitamins and minerals from all these natural um, uh, sources that are good for you, but but they'll clean and they'll do this, but you need protein to build the bone and the, and and the muscle. So that's a mistake people make when they do their smoothies or their green smoothies is they they fail and then they get all skinny and withery and weak and stuff okay so i always put no less than one scoop of my strawberry or vanilla protein i like using the strawberry because it flavors it up as well as the strawberries that i put in there and i used half a banana again you could use a whole banana more strawberries depends on how much you drink and or don't don't do this. Now, again, I've also added six ounces of water in there. We'll see how this blends up, okay? Okay, I also did forget um, to mention that I had spinach in there, too. So, and again, there's others you can use. These just happen to be uh, my favorite. Um, these happen to be my okay, favorite. Yeah, okay, so it works for you. So, let's see if we can't get this thing working here. Take its time, drop 
lock itself in there. So it ends up looking actually like the batter of a uh, nice red velvet cake that you would make. But uh, again, it's chock full of just everything that could uh, keep your blood pressure down, your cholesterol, uh, fight cancer, um, build muscle, build tissue, uh, help you out in every aspect. The immune system will be built so so strong it'll fend off colds and viruses and all that kind of stuff so it's just really good make it up like that make uh then if you make it up like i just did it, you have it in two batches okay that's two drinks a day just do it up yeah um, health doesn't come to you you have to work for it okay that's all there is to it just like anything else you want money you got to work for it you want health you have to work for it and back to life okay you don't want it well you don't want it bad enough you got to work for it okay uh share this uh, Facebook page, Eat to Live Diet with your friends, all right? Get them on there. Post your diets, post your drinks, post what you do, okay? And uh, we look forward to seeing them. Thanks for watching. Dan Przoski, MRMichigan at BEX.net. Thanks. Have a great one.